So uh, national champion, Xavier Johnson, uh, Battle of the Johnsons from the Marines today in yes, the sir. finals. My yes, God, sir. it's not bad enough. It's two Marines with these <laughs> two guys with the same last name. I mean, yes, sir. Uh, I, I'm sure you guys know each other really well. How difficult was it to go out there, compete against the teammate, and, and, and you know, both you guys want to win this thing and, and yes, come sir. out and, and, and be the national champion? Uh, it wasn't really difficult at all. You know, obviously me and Jamel know each other very well. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I think I confided in Jamel a few times and he said, you know, just go out there, have fun and do what you, uh, do, you know, do what you do best. Because at the end of the day, we know and we carry this through the team, you know, we have to make each other better. You know, today was my day, but at the end of the day, it's like, I'm only, it's only my day because of my teammates. And had the Marines showed up at this tournament. I mean, yes, you know, you, you, you put John Stefanovic on the Olympic team, but your whole team, but most of the guys that, that wrestle all year long and had been part of the dream for uh, the last few years uh, came out and competed. Uh, just to talk about, you know, what's going on and why the guys, even a few weeks after the Olympic trials, wanted to come and wrestle again. Well, yes, we all, um, at the end of the day, we all know that it's a journey. Uh, we did manage to get Olympia on our team, and that was our goal, you know, get one of our guys on the team because we all – I spoke about this in a previous interview. You know, we're breaking – we're putting cracks in the windshield, you know, and eventually we're going to break through and we're planning on putting more Olympians on that team. And yourself, I mean, how's your personal development as a wrestler going in your mind? How are things – Okay, okay. I mean, how are things uh, in your improvement? I mean, over the – course the last few years you've been winning medals overseas you've done well against the american opponents and everything uh, how do you feel your wrestling is 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 going at this point i feel my wrestling is going great you know i'm still young to the sport of my eyes but at the end of the day i'm i'm growing every day i'm getting better and you know I'm, I'm learning and that's the biggest thing i'm teachable i'm coachable and i love to you know get better every day whether that's on defense offense or just fine-tuning um what's next for you uh You've got to keep training if there's another world championship out here. You guys got any scheduling as far as what you're going to do to prepare for the September competition? Um, uh, typically, that goes, uh, you know, that's between coach. You know, I'm, I'm always willing to go on any trip I can. I know coach has the best interest in, uh, in his uh, wrestlers. So, you know, at the end of the day, whatever coach sees fit, that's what we're going to do. Well, congratulations on a great tournament. Uh, Marine Oh, man, it's, it's a brotherhood. It's, it's like Noel, and I've been on a few teams, but I can honestly say this team right here, it's, it's a brotherhood. You know, wrestling is what we do, but at the end of the day, you know, these are the guys that I call on daily, you know, outside of the, the sport. Congratulations, Xavier. Thank you. Thank you. Be well, man.